Hey there guys, Incoherent Gamer here. So I made a made a mistake. I think I leveled up too much. <laughs> yeah, 18 might be too much here. <laughs> Should have stayed around 10 actually. Crap, I didn't mean to actually go that high. I went off screen and upgraded my stuff and oh hold on. Camera go act weird. There we go. Uh, and I upgraded some stuff, and then I leveled up, and I did not mean to level up that high. To be summoned, you have to be in about 10% of somebody who's around here, and 18 is kind of ridiculous, so... I may have screwed that up. But I will try it and stay low level for the next few areas, just so I could show them off. I was kind of hoping to show off Bell Gargoyles, but at the same time... You saw this, it was kind of ridiculously easy, so to be summoned, it's just kind of help along. There's other uh, points of tips I can give to a much better area, so my bad. So we're going to leave it up just in case we will get summoned in this area. I highly doubt it considering my level, but just in case. Now, normally that doesn't get that other guy's attention, but... Apparently it did this time, so my bad. You can see I do a lot of damage now. I have upgraded my sword to level 5, so now I do a good chunk of damage this time. Oh, that really sucks that I accidentally did that. Let's take on this guy here. Back Sabia, there we go. Fatality, there we go. Okay. Now yeah, we're only coming over here for one reason. And that is for this thing over here. No, uh, I believe this is a weapon though. Halibird. We got the Gargoyle Halibur, which is just a little bit better, and if I remember right, but it does require a bit more. Now, the reason why we came here is for this right here. The basement key. That allows us to go to our next area that we need to go to. Um, should I head straight there or go the long way? Through Fire Shrine. I still have to upgrade my flask, so I'll go through the long way. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I screwed up the summoning. So, my bad. I'll show off the... Well, what's the next area that I would probably show it off for? Probably show it off for, uh... Yeah, my summoning sign has just paid. Yeah, I got it. It was probably not going to happen anyways. Um... I'll probably show it for the next area's final boss. Yeah, I'll be doing it for that area. So, our next area is the death, so I'll be showing it off for the death boss as long as I'm not too over leveled. I'm normally, I'm normally pretty under level actually for most areas. And then I just kind of go all out for leveling up after I defeat the boss, but this time I kind of screwed it up with that. My bad. Anyway, no, your friends are not here yet. Huh. Well, they're here by now. So, you must be lonely sometimes. Okay. Uh, Latrick should be here, though, so we can go visit him. So, he'll be right down here by the fire just eyeing her so let's get you to reinforce our glass using that soul BAM so now if you want the easy way of killing oh wait let's talk to ah, him hello there I have your reward please accept it look at sunlight metal I'm grateful to you for freeing me <laughs> yeah. not enough for you well Let's not be greedy now. <laughs> so, 
Alright, so, um, if you want an easy way to kill him and not have the entire thing happen with Firekeeper here, two kicks straight at him right here will kick him off the edge. You will get, then you'll just have to, uh, quit out, uh, load back in, and then all his stuff will be here that he normally gives. I believe he gives a really, really, really good ring. Uh, and I believe that's all he'll drop. Maybe some humanity also. I particularly like going through his little storyline, so I'm actually going to leave him to kill this firekeeper later. So, for right now, we'll just keep on moving on. Um, try to think if there's anything good to show off at this point. Could show off the shortcut down to blight. Actually, you know what? We'll go grab ourselves another firekeeper soul right now. So we head down this way, past Lord Trick and the Firekeeper. Down to this little area I showed off before. We can go get some items and some firekeeper souls actually. Step on this pressure plate. Um, if I were you, I would uh, make sure to spend all the souls that I can. I probably should have went up and finished some souls. Because to get this Firekeeper soul is pretty much going to be a death sentence. Oh well, I'll be fine with losing 3,000 souls and then one humanity. Well, actually two because I'm human right now, but oh well. Now, don't worry about any of these hollows attacking you. Uh, for the shortcut, normally you would go through here, back up, and then it'll lead to an area that you can open with a master key. Not bothering with it right now. I'm actually going to try to survive this area, so I'm going to do something that's not entirely uh, visible. So maybe you should just think about dying here. Uh, where are you? Over here is a S-Stock, a pretty good dexterity weapon. It works on thrust. I particularly don't really enjoy thrust except for in a few cases, but oh well. Um, now, to remember where to get these items. Right here, isn't it? Yeah. So, we're going to try and not disturb this fellow here while getting this. Now, this is something I would say save for much later. Transient Curse, you'll get two of them. I think this is like the only point you can actually get Transient Curses this early. I don't even know of any merchants for a good while, even after this point. So, best to save them. I am going to pop one because they do last ridiculously long. And the fact that the enemies here do drop it every once in a while is also a bonus. Because I'm kind of hoping to get through this area without dying. I believe that's the Firekeeper Soul right there. So the enemies here, you need one of two th or three things actually to actually hurt them. You need to be cursed, which is really sucky sucky uh, status effect. Halves your health by, uh, well, halves your health. Uh, you need a transient curse, which will allow you to attack them, or you need a cursed weapon, which are very few and far between, actually. So for this first little moment, we are just going to run past these ghosts, actually. Go ahead over here. Head through this archway right here. And head through here. Careful on this little pathway here. Just kind of squeeze by these guys. And there's your Firekeeper Soul. Now I'm going to pop this quickly and see if I can kill these guys. Oh no. No! Oh, this is so bad because I'm in grapple range right now. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, that's a go kill me. Damn it. 
Well, like I said, I was going into this planning on dying, so... No loss for me right now. I have my weapon upgraded to where I want it. I have my levels where I want it, so there's really no loss for me on this. So our next stop is going to be heading towards the dragon. I'm going to take the long way around just so I don't have to deal with it right away and deal with some enemies. Well, let's get to be able to go through here pretty easy. Bam, bam. Come on. Take care of these guys in one hit now, which is nice. Oh, I didn't hit the fire there. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Not worth it if I died there. Well, actually, since I'm already pretty sure I lost all that stuff, I'm fine with that too. Just kick you off there. Or stab you. Oh my god, I'm taking way too much damage for you guys. How the hell did I kill you? Anyway, let me just take a quick second here. I want to check something out before we move on. Checking the NPCs over there yet. Nope. Yeah, you have to ring the second bell of awakening, actually, I believe. So I'm going to show off how to get past that dragon. I'm going to get to that bonfire there. I'm going to show off. Should take it off these transient curses before I accidentally use them up. I'm going to show off. Uh, and I'll probably show off the beginning areas of the death. Which will then I'll leave to get some other stuff done in the next episode. Then go back there and finish off the depths. Oh, actually, wait. I won't be able to reach the depth because I'm going to actually have to deal with some other stuff first. So this area is not even going to be for the depths. Huh. I just remember that now that I actually have to fight a mini boss before going to the depths. That's going to be a minor noise. Oh, it's also. Oh, it's one of the favorites of the game tell by my sarcasm that he is a bit of an asshole. Kill you guys quickly. Kill your friend that's just behind me quickly. Thank you. Ow! That was a headshot too. Lucky guy. Okay. What else do we got here? this I don't think I need to stop at the merchant right now so let's go bypass him oh what you survived that there Take that. we're gonna stop at the bonfire because I'm most likely going to die doing this okay second thing I need to know is what is my best shield for fire damage uh, you're a bit less heater shields good Wooden shield obviously is not that great, so here shield is my best shield right now for fire defense. Uh, there's not a lot to actually do behind the dragon. It's a bit of a shortcut. That's about it. There's some story stuff there, but it's even even at that point, it's like highly theorized plot points. Just gonna get that guy's attention. Hide in the corner here where his flame won't reach me. You'll get a bunch of souls out of this deal though. And just wait a bit for him to make his move. You need to. There's a way to for horse him to move even more. By shooting him with an arrow. That's what you're waiting for, and wait until he breathes that fire attack, and then run for it past his feet. Oh, 
you'll get you'll always get that one hit but otherwise you should be able to make it after this you just continuously run still roll in there we go so this is the bonfire of the sun uh, lost sun lost sun shrine there we go Like I said, there's not that much actually going for it, except for this statue here, and this broken statue over here. Which is of... What is this of? Um... Uh... I don't remember off the top of my head who this is. His weapon. His weapon reminds me of the dragon slaying sphere, so it might be of um, Ornstein, the guy late we'll meet later. Anyways, after you get actually clear into this area, the dragon will be gone for good, so you can freely walk around. Yeah, don't worry about these guys. These guys are actually just praying at the shrine. It's kind of weird for Hollow to do that. Anyways, we can open a shortcut here. That'll lead us back to over here. Oh, just remembered. There's actually an area I like to take care of right now before heading into the depths. I might actually head that way. Let's see what these guys have. That, take that, take that, and that. And kick. And kick that and that. And we'll get a claymore here. Yeah, it's an alright sword. Just go walk down here, actually. I'm not gonna bother with these guys. And I gotta think for next episode what we're going to do, actually. It's actually a lot to do. Um, I guess what I can do right now is start making my way towards the deaths. Hello there, sir. Hello there, sir of sirs. Allow me to walk by and you continue to constantly guard this bridge however you feel like it. So with the basement key, we can go over here. So they're over here still. I don't think I have enough sunlight metals, but I just want to check. You're still there. What, what, what am I at for sunlight metals? Uh, oh, we are only at two? Jeez, I thought we were at more than this. Anyway, if we head through here, we can use the basement key that we picked up just a bit ago. Slide down this ladder. There we go. And we'll be in Lord Undeadburg, even though it doesn't truly say it. Come up these stairs for a shortcut. Back towards that merchant bonfire it'll be right behind it right where that door was these axe guys these guys are ridiculously easy right now because of the fact everything is leveled up look even that shield guy goes down one hit Okay, where should I go? I think I'll show off the next shortcut that heads towards Firelink Shrine, and then I'll end it there. It's a little bit a uh, ways, though, so be prepared for a bit longer of an episode. Careful of these dogs, they are a dick.
It's a dogs because there's usually two that come up these stairs right away. There's the other one. Oh, there's these two. Normally, if you kind of just stay right by these stairs, they'll accidentally just jump into that fire. It seems like they're not going to do that today, so we're just going to come around this corner and kill that one. Let this one come up these stairs and kill him. There we go. Now, I'm not going to head that way right away. I'm going to head over here. And I believe behind door number one here. Somebody, somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Well, if you have the resident key or the master key, I believe, you can open this door and meet the guy I never actually Reason. freed before. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. So this is Griggs. He is a one of the earliest sorcery teachers you can find. So if you're a sorcerer, definitely free him. And in here, you'll find all the sorcerer's starting Hello. items. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery, and I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Okay, I'm on a pillage. This corpse. And a sorcerer's callus. There we go. Um, I believe it's just a soul resource item down there, so we will continue on over here. So be careful coming through here. You will be ambushed, and this is like a good set up ambush because it always happen until you're like way down here. There we go. Now be careful of these hollowed thieves as they have a parry and they are very good at getting backstabs on you. Plus, they have freaking. Oh god. Plus, they have a lot of go stuff going for them. <laughs> they are fast, and they hurt. And they do that blood loss that I was talking about a, wh a while back. You might have to use up a lot of SS classes here. Luckily, they don't have a lot of health or defense, so they do go out in a couple hits of a sword sword so if you have anything better you'll probably take care of them pretty easily well too uh, nothing in here check these doors they go out from because they will have items in there every once in a while here we got mail breaker I believe the s stock is a bit better of a rapier weapons though this might be good against like armored guys uh, nothing in there always be careful around edges here you will always find an ambush somewhere here carefully go up carefully go up and you should only get the attention of this guy oh that's okay didn't want to get the attention of these guys so soon but that's all right we can deal with it When they do that, that's the pairing move, so be careful. I was afraid that for there for a moment I was actually going to start attacking him by accident. God, no! Don't you dare do this to me. Oh, this was a bad time to heal. Ugh. God damn it, these guys have way too many good things going for them. There we go. So I might be a bit of trouble here because I need to defeat this mini boss before I can open that shortcut. And if there's nobody here to summon, I'm going to be screwed. Uh, go in here and we can get the thieves starting items and the target shield. That's the shield that has the very the better par parrying uh, time. Or oh god, I forgot there was a dog here. 
There we go. And I'm not human right now. Shh. Crap. Ah, oh, this is not where I want to be right now. Um. <laughs> Screw it. Let's go. Head through this fog gate and you'll go against a boss. The battle starts right away, so be careful. Now, this boss is particularly tough just because he has health. And he actually very easily gets you in corners. And he does a lot of damage. But if you're able to get up these stairs, you should be fine. Heal up quickly before the dogs get up here. Oh, no, you weren't supposed to do that. I need to see where the dogs are. Where's your other puppy? Is he down there with you? Okay. Anyway, the Capra Demon is particularly tough just because he's in this extremely small area. And he has those two dogs. And there's a lot of areas you can get trapped in a corner very easily. But if you just come up these stairs, let him fall down, then do a drop attack on his head like so, you'll be fine, and just rinse and repeat. I can't, for the life of me, figure out where the second dog is. Uh, going to this boss, you should be kind of expected to die. Though there is a lot of beginner's luck somehow with this. How did you stay up here? Oh, you are not supposed to be up. Go down. There we go. Run back up. Rinse and repeat. This is kind of the strategy you want to use no matter who you are. Where are you? There you are. Carefully, he can still reach you with that jump attack. Uh, I'm going to still continue my repeat, even though I'm pretty sure I can take him out pretty easily right now. I just don't want any accidents. Careful. And with that, he will be dead. There we go. I was actually really worried about that, but for some reason there's no second dog. I'm pretty sure there was two dogs in this thing. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> he got trapped! Oh, thank god. So yeah, there is two dogs, so make sure you take care of both of them before you start taking on the Capri... the... the Capri Demon. Now, even if you finish that, there's still problems going to be had here. There's another ambush waiting for you here. Turn around the corner quickly, and you should be able to get this guy by surprise. And then just deal with this guy as one normally would against a single guy. With that, we got the... Oh! God dang it, I didn't actually have to do that. <laughs> okay, anyways. Come up this tower for a shortcut back to Firelink Shrine. Will you? This guy normally drops his bow. Time I wasn't so lucky. Uh, oh. Right here. You'll also meet a merchant right around this corner here. He's pretty useful. Oh, I did not mean to actually skip over you. My bad. Uh, what does he have? Uh, she has some good stuff, but there's a place to grind these pretty easily. There's the dung pies. Oh, maybe that guy got that really early. Chargo Pine Resin. Won't actually be that useful in the next couple of areas. Uh, Rotten Pine Resin, Poison. I'm starting to think this is what this guy did actually now off the top of my head. Anyway, uh, Prison Stone, not really needed. Humanity, I believe she has six in total, so if you want to buy them, buy them. 
And you have some arrows here, which we are going to stock up on a couple of them. Let us get an even hundred. And I think that's actually all we need from you. So, can't quite tell yet. This comes out at Firelink Shrine. This is the little tunnel beforehand with the rat in it. You'll just finally be able to open this gate over here. And here we go. Hello to Mr. Rat. We're just going to bypass you if you don't come attacking us. But when you walk out. Jeez. Combo. Bam! Take that. Bring it on! I am more powerful you in every way. Take that. NPC there yet? Nope, not yet. Let's go kind of slightly suck. If it doesn't get there until the Bell of Awakening wrong the second time but whatever anyway say hello to Greg here oh sorry Griggs not Greg uh, to actually start being taught by him you need at least 12 uh, intelligence before you can start being taught by him so so we did a lot more than I was actually planning to do this episode so let's just do a quick level up to 20 and that's actually probably where I'm going to stay to for the most through all of the devs actually I probably will stay through that uh, and I'll probably also upgrade you both like so or wait should I uh, no there's no need to upgrade my two bits yet anyway so we'll stay at level 20 through all of the devs Hopefully that'll be a good level for And they hurt. And they do that blood loss that I was talking about a while back. You might have to use up a lot of SS flasks here. Luckily, they don't have a lot of health or defense, so they do go out in a couple hits of a sort sword. So, if you have anything better, you'll probably take care of them pretty easily well, too. Uh, nothing in here. Check these doors they go out from, because they will have items in there every once in a while. Here we got Mail Breaker. I believe the S-Stock is a bit better of a rapier weapon. Though this might be good against, like, armored guys. Uh, nothing in there. Always be careful around edges here. You will always find an ambush somewhere here. Carefully go up. Carefully go up. And you should only get the attention of this guy. Oh. That's okay. Didn't want to get the attention of these guys so soon, but that's alright. We can deal with it. When they do that, that's the parrying move, so be careful. I was afraid that for there for a moment I was actually going to start attacking him by accident. Oh my god! No! Don't you dare do this to me. Oh, this was a bad time to heal. Ugh. God damn it, these guys have way too many good things going for them. There we go. So I might be a bit of trouble here because I need to defeat this mini boss before I can open that shortcut. And if there's nobody here to summon, I'm going to be screwed. Uh, go in here and we can get the thieves starting items. 
in the target shield. That's the shield that has the very, the better par parring uh, time for it. Oh god, I forgot there was a dog here. There we go. And I'm not human right now. Shh. Crap. Ah, oh, this is not where I want to be right now. Um. <laughs> Screw it. Let's go. Head through this fog gate and you'll go against the boss. The battle starts right away, so be careful. Now, this boss is particularly tough just because he has help. And he actually very easily gets you in corners. And he does a lot of damage. But if you're able to get up these stairs, you should be fine. Heal up quickly before the dogs get up here. Oh, no, you weren't supposed to do that. No, 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 no. I need to see where the dogs are. Where's your other puppy? Is he down there with you? Okay. Anyway, the Capra demon is particularly tough just because he's in this extremely small area. And he has those two dogs. And there's a lot of areas you can get trapped in a corner very easily. But if you just come up these stairs, let him fall down, then do a drop attack on his head like so, you'll be fine, and just rinse and repeat. I can't, for the life of me, figure out where the second dog is. Uh, going to this boss, you should be kind of expected to die. Though there is a lot of beginner's luck somehow with this. How did you stay up here? Oh, you are not supposed to be up here. Go down. There we go. Run back up. Rinse and repeat. This is kind of the strategy you want to use no matter who you are. Where are you right now? There you are. Carefully, he can still reach you with that jump attacks. Uh, I'm going to still continue my repeat, even though I'm pretty sure I can take him out pretty easily right now. I just don't want any accidents. Careful. And with that, he will be dead. There we go. I was actually really worried about that, but for some reason there's no second dog. I'm pretty sure there was two dogs in this thing. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> he got trapped! Oh, thank god. So yeah, there is two dogs, so make sure you take care of both of them before you start taking on the Capri... the... the Capri Demon. Now, even if you finish that, there's still problems going to be had here. There's another ambush waiting for you here. Turn around the corner quickly, and you should be able to get this guy by surprise. And then just deal with this guy as one normally would against a single guy. With that we got the... oh! God dang it, I didn't actually have to do that. <laughs> okay, anyways. Come up this tower for a shortcut back to Firelink Shrine. Kill you. This guy normally drops his bow. Time I wasn't so lucky. Uh, oh. Right here. You'll also meet a merchant right around this corner here. He's pretty useful. Oh, I did not mean to actually skip over you. My bad. Uh, what does he have? Uh, she has some good stuff, but there's a place to grind these pretty easily. There's the dung pies. Oh, maybe that guy got that really early. Chargo Pine Resin. Won't actually be that useful in the next couple of areas. Uh, Rotten Pine Resin, Poison. 
I'm starting to think this is what this guy did actually now off the top of my head. Anyway, uh, Prison Stone, not really needed. Humanity, I believe she has six in total, so if you want to buy them, buy them. Uh, and you have some arrows here, which we are going to stock up on a couple of them. Let us get an even hundred. And I think that's actually all we need from you. So, can't quite tell yet. This comes out at Firelink Shrine. This is the little tunnel beforehand with the rat in it. You'll just finally be able to open this gate over here. And here we go. Hello to Mr. Rat. We're just going to bypass you if you don't come attacking us. If when you walk out. Ow! 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 Take all that. Jeez. Comboed. Bam! Take that. Bring it on! I am more powerful than you in every way. Take that. NPC there yet? Nope, not yet. Let's go kind of slightly suck. If it doesn't get there until the Bell of Awakening rung the second time, but whatever. Anyway, say hello to Greg here. Oh, sorry, Griggs, not Greg. Uh, to actually start being taught by him, you need at least 12 uh, intelligence before you can start being taught by him. So, so we did a lot more than I was actually planning to do this episode. So, let's just do a quick level up to 20. And that's actually probably where I'm going to stay to for the most, through all of the depths actually, I probably will stay through that. Uh, and I'll probably also we'll upgrade you both like so. Or wait, should I? Uh, no, there's no need to upgrade my attunements yet. Anyway, so we'll stay at level 20 throughout all of the deaths. Hopefully that'll be a good level for doing the white phantom for the boss of that area. So this has been Incoherent Gamer, this has been Dark Souls, I'll see you next time.